reporting live from Makimono on Easter Sunday. It's live from last week, episode 69. Yeah. Let's, Let's go! go! <laughs> Welcome you my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today, when I decided to get on my stationary bike and do a quick workout while editing some live from last week footage, I got a message from my cousin to help go babysit my niece and nephew. Moving on, before I leave you guys for today, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my old co-workers that I used to work with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Caitlin. Happy birthday, Caitlin. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after a busy day yesterday, spending time with my niece and nephew, then waking up early today to drive the wife downtown for her CPR course, then pick her up around lunchtime to take her back home. I'm feeling pretty tired today. So after I went to Planet Fitness this morning, not to work out, but rather use their Wi-Fi to edit some live from last week video, I'm back at home to rest up because I'm going in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. So cutting this segment short, I'm gonna take a quick pre-night shift nap, recharge my batteries, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So after a relatively busy and stressful night shift last night, I did one of the only things I knew that helped me relieve my stress after a shift like that. And that was to do some retail therapy at my closest no frills. But after that, when I arrived home, the wife told me that she was feeling a little bit unwell and I found this sign on the door of our bedroom. Meaning for the time being, the wife has isolated herself from me in hopes that I won't feel as unwell as she does this morning. And luckily, after taking a test on our home testing kit, so far she's negative of anything, and I'm really hoping that she will start to feel better soon. But anyways, since my bedroom was out of commission today, I got to utilize the bed in our den for the first time in what seems like months. And to be honest, I actually got a pretty decent sleep after my night shift today. With that being said, before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends back in university who always had an impact on the students at U of T, who would always be a treat to hang around with whenever we would have gatherings back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ben. Happy birthday, Ben. And for our next birthday shout out of the day, we have a birthday greeting to somebody who would always cheerlead on the sidelines while watching her son Matt and me play baseball back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Mrs. Paulette. Happy birthday, Mrs. Paulette. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today on the Catholic calendar, on the Friday before Easter Sunday, us Christians are celebrating Good Friday, a day that we commemorate the death of Jesus Christ, as well as recognize the sacrifices that he has made for us. And in honor of this, for me personally, I do the yearly tradition of sacrificing food and fasting for 24 hours. So this morning, after I came home from night shift, instead of preparing breakfast, 
I noticed that this sign was still up on my bedroom door, meaning that the wife is still feeling a little bit under the weather. So I decided to set up my post night shift nap area on the couch in the living room with my beloved Blue Jays blanket and took my rest there until I woke up later in the afternoon. But yeah, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, I just have a quick little bit of news to tell you guys about. So after 10 days since we sent that old malfunctioning Dyson fan back through Pure Later, and after realizing that it was almost 30 degrees in this hot condo, just in time, we received a surprise package at our door yesterday. And believe it or not, that package was our replacement fan that we got back from Dyson. So I'm just going to enjoy spending some time with this new Dyson fan, purifying all the air here in the condo before I go to work, and I'll just catch up with you guys again tomorrow after I'm done my set of shifts. So let me tell you guys, I was feeling pretty good this morning. And part of the reason is because I was getting off my third night shift in a row, starting my first of my four days off, and it was the day just before Easter, aka Easter Eve. But after doing a little celebratory dance in front of my locker, I got news that at my job, we've been taking care of a couple of positive COVID cases. And after my shift, I had to go down to the lobby and get my COVID swab done. So after dancing like this, before I got my test done, this is how I looked like after I got that swab up my nose, which was a complete 180 of how I felt 15 minutes prior. But a good thing is I've been asymptomatic. And although I had the experience of having a swab past my nose and tickle the back of my brain, I am really hoping for yet another negative result. But anyways, once I got home, I was pretty excited for the fact that I was able to break my Good Friday fast, not eating for over 32 hours, and being able to eat this delicious dish that the wife had set out for me this morning. And afterwards, since the wife was done self-isolating, after receiving yet another negative COVID test result, I was able to go back to my bedroom, and with the help of this Lysol disinfectant antibacterial spray, I feel like I sprayed down every single square inch of the bedroom and got my bedroom ready for my first ever post night shift nap there in the span of half a week. But after feeling restless and napping for only about two hours today, I pretty much wasted my whole day trying to go back to sleep before catching the first Raptors game of the 2022 playoff season and having the audio on while driving the wife in the mini for her night shift earlier this evening. But anyways, before I wrap it up for the night and try to catch up on some lost sleep, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my childhood friends that I used to ref soccer with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Daniel. Happy birthday, Daniel. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my friends at Wysik, who always comes out with creative action figure photos that I still admire to this day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Claudio. Claudio! Happy birthday, Claudio. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my longtime childhood friends with whom I would do TV marathons with the show back in the day called 24 and who I'd share jokes with about mad evil bananas. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Candace. Happy birthday, Candace. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So, after not being able to sleep in earlier this morning, I started to edit some live from last week footage. I made my way downtown to pick up the wife from her night shift. And since I couldn't stay asleep, maybe it's because I'm a little bit too excited today, all to greet you guys a happy Easter 2022. So let's see what we've got in store for you guys today. So now we're back at home this evening and I'm just gonna review with you guys how my Easter Sunday went. So while driving the wife home from her night shift this morning, I looked around and I saw that there was some suspicious white stuff on the grass. And guys, just to remind you, we're in the middle of April. But I'm guessing that since it was zero degrees outside, feeling like negative six, this morning, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that there is still some snow on the ground. But anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys a quick little story where today marks the last day where I have in my possession my first ever motorcycle jacket. I mean like dating more than 10 years ago to this iconic photo that I took near the docks, I had a 
Facebook Marketplace ad to sell my jacket. I said one last farewell to it while I was in the elevator. And later this morning, the jacket was sold to somebody that said they'll take care of it better than I will. But yeah, after I gave away my first love of a motorcycle jacket, I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I decided to do a quick 45 minute bike ride on the stationary bike to remind myself just how out of shape I still am before making our way to Pickering to Makimono to have all you can eat sushi with my family and celebrate another memorable Easter Sunday lunch. Hi Nika! Happy Easter! Happy Easter Nika! <laughs> and by the way, did I mention that the little sister got me this pretty cool t-shirt to wear for Easter Sunday. Which, after lunch, my mom was pretty curious about. Jay, what about your ninja disguise? What about my ninja disguise? Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after joking around with my family with that ninja shirt. Yeah, ninja. <laughs> the wife and I went to the local Sheridan Nurseries in Scarborough, did some adulting and looked at some beautiful plants that we might take home sometime later this spring. As well, since the month of April is almost up, once again, I started doing my taxes on the h &R Block website. And because of all the stress trying to do my own taxes, I decided to treat myself out to eating some McDonald's fries for the first time in a couple of years, just to wrap up the night. Oh my gosh, having my first McDonald's fry for the first time in over two years, it tastes delicious. <laughs> I mean, absolutely delicious. Oh. <laughs> But before we finish up for the night, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends out there who is a sucker for adorable dogs and who I can't wait to play on the beach this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ash. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. I know it's a little bit late. By about a couple weeks or so, but now that the wife is back at home, back from her trip, we were finally able to check out all the results from the 2022 NCAA basketball tournament and find out if I have finally defeated the wife, predicting more winners of the NCAA tournament, as well as the overall champion in 2022. And so earlier this evening, believe it or not, after several years of her winning year after year after year, I have predicted more wins than her in this year's tournament and am this year's champion. Your 2022 winner is me. Woo! The streak is over. The streak is over. <laughs> So yeah, wife, better luck next year. But for this year, I'm gonna gloat a little bit now that I have finally put an end to your streak. But anyways, on to some more recent news where I have finally got results online for the COVID PCR test that I did a couple of days ago. And so according to the results that I looked at earlier, COVID-19 has not been detected. But earlier this afternoon, what was detected, when I looked outside the window from my condo, I saw that it was actually actively snowing. Honestly, it was unbelievable. But just check out these progress videos that I took. From one moment, to the next half hour, to the next half hour after that. And it was actually crazy enough to see that I went outside to experience it firsthand. Honestly guys, this is crazy. Like, look. What is this? What is this? And did I mention, do you guys recall what month we actually are in right now? And I was so tempted to go to Blue Mountain earlier today. But yeah, man, this is insane. For April, this is actually insane. But I might as well enjoy it while it's here. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight 
We're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. We've gone away, is the bluebird here to stay? Is a new bird. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. And just in case you guys don't remember just exactly what season we're in, we're still in the season of winter and one more for the road before I go inside for tonight's game let's go Raptors so yeah from this winter wonderland that pretty much wraps up this week's episode so if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter Instagram Facebook and YouTube be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.